there's a renewed effort tonight to solve a cold case from 40 years ago. It involves a serial killer, a canine handler, and a group of college kids from Maryland. Tessa DeTiro picks up the story from Pendleton County. The search team from Towson University started their day today by clearing out all of this debris from the woods. That's before they spent hours digging through the dirt, trying to find remains of Randy Sellers. <laughs> the forensic science students work on cold yeah, cases across the country. Anybody can learn anything from a book, but who actually gets experience to go out on criminal cases and say that we found a body. The Sellers case is their oldest one yet. We're not looking for full skeletons. We're not looking for bodies. We're looking for pieces. This canine helped them narrow down where to search at Kincaid Lake State Park. It's a very stressful, very work demanding like position to do. Um, a lot of shoveling, a lot of back pain when you wake up in the morning. They systematically move the earth inch by inch, examining piles of dirt by hand for tiny clues. Even if we don't find something, Still, that's an area we don't have to look anymore. Randy Sellers died before any of these students were born. They want to be the ones to close the case. We're not looking for nameless, faceless people. We're looking for people like Randy Sellers, whose family came and spoke to us and passed around his picture and cried and let us, let us know how much he still loved and missed. And students became very emotional with that. One thing that stuck to me, and he said, all I want is remembrance. Who's gonna remember my son when my wife and I are no longer here? Randy Seller's parents, Wanda and John, told the team they're grateful that 40 years later, people are still trying to help them get closure. At Kincaid Lake State Park, Tessa DiTiro, Local 12 News. Donald Evans was killed in prison in 1999. Before he died, he claimed he picked up Sellers hitchhiking in 1980 and buried him in the park. Townsend students got involved when a canine handler who had worked on both the case and with the school reached out to them.